For this Nerd Corner, I want to talk less about an individual game or anything like that, and more about thoughts I've had about the whole gaming industry, and a trend that's been going on for quite some time, unfortunately, and it really, it bothers me. And that's this reliance on graphics over, well, everything else, it seems, in a game. It seems like every other quality is second to graphics now. As though, if the game is pretty enough, everything else is irrelevant or secondary. And quite honestly, we're not watching movies, we're playing a game. And this requires a different level of involvement with the players than a just graphics. Now for me, it's the story. If the story of a game is good, then to me it is an enduring game. It's, it's better than just, uh, that was a decent game. It's something that's going to last. Now, my problem here with graphics being the sort of primary focus is that when we look at things from a long term, they don't last. Graphics are and always will be a transitory thing, wherein the next big system will make the graphics of the previous system look like garbage. Sure, for that era, those graphics were good, but they will always be supplanted eventually by something better. We can go down the list since the beginning of the gaming era with the arcades versus the Nintendo looking better, you know, at least by degrees, and then the Super Nintendo blowing the Nintendo out of the water but looking like crap compared to the PlayStation and 64 era and so on. Graphics are relative, and the things that impress me graphically won't impress people born 10 years later who grew up with a later game system. It's just, it's perspective on graphics, really, and they're transitory by that degree alone. But when you have something like a good story, it changes things. The graphics may degrade, if you will, over time in comparison with the newer releases, but a story does not become less good just because there are other stories, unless the story itself was bad to begin with. Like, for an example, people still talk about games like Final Fantasy VII and Chrono Trigger, and it's not because the graphics were astounding, especially in the case of Final Fantasy VII. That's held up as an example of some of the worst graphics of the PlayStation era, in fact. But the story carries it through. Now, to be fair, the gameplay elements contribute a lot as well. They were very solid then. But really, it was the ambition of the story and the fun of the game that carried them past their origins. To this day, people will play these games and they will enjoy them, even with such other game, you know, whole systems like the Xbox 360 and PS3. There's, an, there's a market still for the classic games, and it's not about the graphics. It can't be really about the graphics. It's about the story and the gameplay. Like I said, for me, it's story. That's the main element. But for other people, it's gameplay and whatever have you. But my framing example here for why this is starting to really annoy me is that they're going to remake Final Fantasy X. And they're going to make it in HD. And who cares? That, that's my response, honestly. Like, the graphics on FF10 when it came out were astounding. Compared to the games of the time, it was revolutionary. I'll give it that. It, Yeah, it was amazing. No other words, really. But the story and the gameplay, when you really break it down, I've done a whole rant on FF10 already, so I'm not going to go into too much detail there, but does this game really deserve all of the effort to remake it if its main claim to fame was just how pretty it was? Prettying it up again is not really making it better or different. It's just, look, it's the pretty game again. And I guess if that's what you want, good. But for me, like I said, for a game to be enduring, it has to have the long-term qualities of a great story and great gameplay. Quite honestly, ten has neither of these to me. Like, if they were to remake something like Final Fantasy VII, could you imagine that? It would have that holy trinity, at least for a time, of Good story, good gameplay, and good graphics, all in one thing. That would that would be something, I think. But no, no, it's FF10 getting the remake. And adding graphics onto something whose only strong point was already graphics is pointless. It's fucking pointless. It, it's a waste of my time. It is utterly redundant. There's no point. So... If I had to say anything here, just as to close this up, it would be that 
I think we as the gaming audience need to be more discriminant with our purchases on games. Really, this is about money. And if we reward proper games, like we all go out and buy the game that actually tries to do all of these things right, because I'm not going to say let them make shitty graphics again, because we have good graphics, we should use them, but let's really try to reward games that aren't just the catch of the day, you know, popular for a moment games that have no staying power and are really just gimmicks when it comes down to it. Let's try to reward the games and the game makers who make unusual games that are of quality and imagination. Because if those are the games that get money, those are the games the game companies will want to make. After all, they are beholden to us in a very major way. We have the money. So, if we tried to skew our buying habits, I think, a little bit, and tried to have more involvement in it, maybe something will come of it. I mean, maybe not. Like, But the worst that happens is, instead of buying games you're not going to play in three months, you're buying games that you will pop in a year later and enjoy again. Just something to think about.